The spool of wire having a weight of 300 pounds rests on the ground at B and against the wall at A. What is the force P required to begin pulling the wire horizontally off the spool? The coefficient of static friction between the spool and its points of contact is mu equal to 0.25. This is the fourth example for the friction main video. The link to that 10 minute video and the other 2 minute examples are found in the description below. With a free body diagram of the spool of wire, we would see its weight, the normal reaction forces at A and B, and since the external force P is trying to rotate the spool counterclockwise, we'd see the friction forces at A and B opposing that counterclockwise rotation. Right before the spool of wire begins rotating, the sum of forces in both directions and the sum of moments about O should be zero. The sum of forces in X would include the friction force at B, which right before the rotation should be equal to its maximum value of mu times NB. The sum of forces in Y will have the friction force at A, which right before the rotation begins should be equal to its maximum value of mu times NA. The sum of moments about the center O would show a counterclockwise rotation due to P at 1 feet of distance, the friction force at B at 3 feet, in this case clockwise, and the friction force at A also at 3 feet away and also clockwise. Once again, the friction forces would be maximum right before rotation, and we now have three equations with three unknowns when we substitute the values for the friction coefficient and the weight W. Subtracting 3 from 1, we can solve for NB and substitute it in 2. NA would be equal to 1200 pounds, NB 600 pounds, and therefore P 1350 pounds. This means that any force higher than 1350 pounds would overcome the friction forces and the spool would start to rotate. For more 2 minute example videos, as well as the other 10 minute videos of the lectures of the statics course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.